Larry McCormick, Joe Butita with sports, and the entire Channel 5 news team. For years, filmmakers have had a problem staging special effects involving airplanes, specifically how to make them look realistic without risking injury or even death. But as Johnny Grant reports, there's finally a solution. The war scene wasn't working. It didn't look real enough. Director John Landis was working on Steven Spielberg's new movie, The Twilight Zone. It was getting very late, but actor Vic Morrow crossed the river again and again with two children in his arms while explosions went off all around. That was fine. The problem was the helicopter. It didn't look like it was in enough danger. It's believed Landis shouted to the pilot, get lower. Just then, an explosive charge went off hard, too hard. Something clipped the chopper. It started to go down, but Morrow and the children were in the way. That was July 23rd near Magic Mountain. It was the most recent time people have been killed while filming a movie involving aircraft stunts. Not the first time. But if Yasuo Sasada and his team have their way, it will be the last. It's no movie, not worth in human life. Sasada is the chief engineer for a special effects company called Aeroworks. Ten years ago, he saw a movie about the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Tora, Tora, Tora. Several people were killed during the shooting of that film, too. As he says, no movie is worth a human life. But since Star Wars, the public is demanding to see bigger and more spectacular special effects. He figured there had to be a safe way to do such effects that looked as real as possible. This is the real landing of the space shuttle Columbia. This is the landing done by Aeroworks. If you're having a hard time telling the shots apart, you're in good company. NASA couldn't believe this wasn't its shuttle until it saw the car driving along beside it. How do they work? A computer flies the miniature Aeroworks plane right through a scene. Then, with the help of secret filters over the camera lens, the product ends up looking very real. They fly themselves also. They can uh, fly in very high altitude because the computer controlled it. And also they have the gyro compass inside, just like a cruising missile without paying those fees. The effects company is only three years old and improving its techniques all the time. So don't be surprised if somewhere down the line you see a shot like this. The Space Shuttle Columbia at L.A. International Airport. Johnny Grant, Channel 5, News at 10. When we come back, uh, some special effects at a store in Westwood that are so good, they caught the eye of NASA. And we're going to meet a guy whose bicycle is so wild, his friends call him Mr. Cool. And finally tonight, a breakthrough in special effects for motion pictures. Its inventors say it could save lots of money and possibly even lives, too. Susan Norris with that story. Last July, actor Vic Morrow and two children were killed while filming the movie The Twilight Zone. The development of new special effects by a Westwood company could eliminate the need for dangerous stunts. The company built the six-foot replica of the space shuttle. It is operated by remote control. We have specially modified filters that we've invented, for specially formulated paints, and uh, modeling techniques that all put together make the realistic effect. We don't use any standard methods, mats or composites or anything like that. And that's the reason that it looks so real. And it's all filmed at the same time. It's all filmed simultaneously. Bob Cesarone and Richard Van Allen are aerospace engineers. They feel the new effects can also be beneficial to the aerospace industry. One way of, of selling yourself is to have a good demonstration of your product. Now, NASA cannot necessarily use actual space shuttle shots all the time. Uh, AeroWorks is able to do a lot of simulations quickly and a lot of different angles that may not be possible from the, the, the footage that comes from an actual space shuttle mission. They are creating very realistic flight replicas, like this hypersonic aircraft, similar to an SR-71 jet. These new techniques may revolutionize the industry and in the process avoid dangerous circumstances while creating effects that are realistic and spectacular. From Westwood, I'm Susan Norris for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. No special effect here. That's the end of this newscast. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a good weekend, have a good Sunday, and now some of the folks that put this newscast together. Good night.